on today's video, we got a special treat for you. We're making air fried chicken empanadas. Now, I know what you're thinking. You're asking, air fried? Really? Well, yeah. I mean, I doubted it too until my dad whipped up some magic and it was nothing short of a miracle. So once you got your ingredients all prepped, including the chicken, seasoned with a little bit of lemon pepper, and then we're gonna go ahead and ground that. Now if you don't have any processors at home or any machine, it's all right, just go buy yourself some ground chicken. We're gonna go ahead and saute the onions. Work in the garlic as well. Stirring, of course. Then adding the chicken. Then we're gonna eyeball some oyster sauce. I would say that's about one tablespoon. Then we're gonna mix it in. Add some carrots. Work that in. Some soy sauce and a sprinkle of paprika, just enough so you can see. Then we're gonna add the potatoes. Now the trick is to soften those potatoes as much as possible. So after we add the olives, the peppers, pickles, we're gonna go ahead and cover it for a little bit just so we get that desired result. Then we add the peas and we're almost done. Now look at that filling. Last but not least, we just add the raisins and we're pretty much done with the filling. But before then, let's take a quick break. Just a reminder, if you're enjoying the video, please subscribe to the channel. It helps us grow. Now that's done, let's get back to the video. Now for the next phase, you have to make the dough. Now you see here the ingredients my dad uses. Baking powder, sugar, butter, any type of salt would work. He prefers to use pink Himalayan salt. And then evaporated milk. We're gonna start out with the flour. Add the salt and baking powder. Add the sugar. And then we're gonna slice the butter into little portions. This way we can work it into that mix. Now it's important to hand mix it so that this way it can actually touch all the flour. and become little crumbles, as you see here. Now when that's done, we just bring it over to the food mixer, and we're gonna start mixing for about 15 minutes, 15 to 20 minutes. So once we get it started, we're gonna add the evaporated milk slowly. Now it's gonna look moist in the beginning. Now once you work off the flour from the side of the bowl, it'll start to look a little bit dry. Now that's the desired look. You want it to be a little bit dry. Once you have that, it should look like this. And we're gonna start dividing the portions up into little balls. Now you wanna cover up the dough you're not using just to avoid drying it out. you see here my dad's gonna divide the dough into small balls 50 grams of weight he likes to be a little bit exact at this part of the recipe then he's gonna take the roller pin flatten out the balls 
Just to a desired thinness Not too thin and not too thick Now when he reaches that point He's gonna just start adding the filling in Not too much, you don't wanna put too much filling of course Just enough so that you can actually roll the dough into a half circle without breaking the dough at all. Now he's going to push down with the fork and then seal the ends. Then he's going to roll over the end just so he can make a really good seal. Now at this point, you gotta be a little bit careful of not ripping the dough with a fork or when you roll it as well in the shape of the flattened dough it's not really important you're gonna roll the edges anyway so don't worry about that and just keep on going until you finish those dough balls out Once you have all the dough worked into empanadas, all filled up, just select the ones that you want to cook, brush it with a little bit of oil, and store the rest in the freezer. You can have them for later. We have them right here on the air fryer, and the setting is about 370 degrees for about 14 minutes, give or take. Now you want to check halfway through, so you can flip it, make sure both sides are cooked nicely. Now once you have it all fully cooked, you should smell it. It should come out nice and golden brown, just like this. Now, I know you doubted it before, but until you make yourself some, I guarantee you, it's nothing short of a miracle. snack, half of these as lunch, half of these as dinner. It's really quick and easy. It only took about one hour. Now I slice it up and see what's in the inside. Mm -mm -mm. Told you so. Cheers everybody.